Katie from Little Miss Kate and today we're going to be creating a picture frame that will allow you to display all of your favorite family photos and update them um, as often as you'd like. I know like many moms I take a lot of pictures of my kids. Um, for baby Roo we've been taking monthly shots of her and it would be a lot of fun to be able to display them in our house and be able to update them easily. This picture frame uses uh, mini uh, clothes pegs to hold the pictures on the outside of the frame. I was able to pick up the picture frame for $15 from Blacks and print out um, little 4x4 four four prints that are just uh, super cute and work perfectly for this project. So let's see how you can make your very own display picture frame. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to create our picture frame is um, open up the back. So I was able to get this frame from Blacks. It was um, $15, which is a great uh, price, and it's nice to easy open. And I'm going to take out the papers, um, you know, the demo picture, and the, the mat as well. Now, depending on your... Um, your personal preference. You could use this as part of your frame, you could not. I'm going to not use the mat, but I'm going to use it as my template when I cut out um, my decorative papers. So I've got two different sheets of decorative paper and I'm going to use the mat and then just, because this will be the size uh, that I will need for the frame, um, and just trace around it. Now I'm going to make two different backgrounds for mine. Um, you can make as many different ones as you want. You can just do it with one. It's completely up to you. And I like ha I'm like. i going to do two different backgrounds. Just that way I have um, a bit of variety. Depending on what um, pictures I have in the frame, I'll be able to, to change it up a little bit um, to match the colors. Now that I have those cut out, I'm going to bring my frame back in and I think I'm going to start with the blue paper. So I'm going to just lay it gently inside the frame and I'm going to put my back. And close it back up. So now when we flip it over, the frame has the beautiful blue paper in it. And now what we're going to do is pick our spots where we're going to attach our mini clothes pegs. So again, you could, you could do maybe two at the top and one at the bottom. Um, it completely depends on what you want for your pictures. Get your pictures, play around with how you might want them laid out and figure out where you'll need the clips to be in order to have your pictures where you want them. So once you know where you want your pegs to be, I would either, um, you can eyeball it, or if you want, you can use a marker to mark where they, where you'd like it. Um, and just use like a washable marker so that if you do put a mark in the wrong spot, like over here, you can just easily just wipe it off the glass. Then grab your glue gun and run a small bead of glue down the back. And press it on. Then, once you have all the clothes pegs attached, you can just press gently to open them up and slide your pictures in. So here's the finished product. A beautiful picture frame where you can display your most precious family photos um, and easily change them out as, they, as you update and print out new photos. 
And this would also make a great gift for grandma. Imagine giving a frame like this maybe at Christmas and then at Valentine's Day, Easter, birthdays, um, giving new photos to them so that they can change them up and display them as well in their homes. For more fun projects and product reviews, please subscribe to the Little Miss Kate YouTube channel. Thank you.